Iran is a, an adversary. Their pursuit of nuclear weapons poses a grave threat to us. Uh, if Iran had a nuclear weapon, it would be a dangerous threat to us. have no doubt uh, Iran possessing nuclear weapons will be a major threat to us. Iran was a threat. Iran is a serious threat if it gets nuclear weapons. Iran is a threat. We all know that Iran poses a threat. And we want, Iran will continue to be a threat. Iran uh, is a grave threat, major threat to us and to the region. I understand that, but they're in the process of developing it. And will keep trying to develop nuclear weapons. But they're in the process of developing it. And I don't think that's disputed by any expert. They are the largest state sponsor of terrorism. The state sponsor of terror. State sponsor of terrorism. It, it is uh, disputed Hezbollah by uh, and Hamas. The enemy that we're going to have to fight is not just terrorists, it's not just Hezbollah, it's not just Hamas. They are the largest state sponsor of terrorism. It, it is uh, disputed Hezbollah by uh, and Hamas. The enemy that we're going to have to fight is not just terrorists, it's not just Hezbollah, it's not just Hamas. I suspect you're not going to believe, at least at the outset, uh, a startling new twist in Iran's ambition to develop nuclear power and weaponry. Unbelievably, the U.S. government has been funding a Russian institute that is working closely with Iran on nuclear projects. Another clear failure of the American government to protect our national security, and it is absolutely another statement as to the incompetence of our State Department and our foreign policy. The U.S. Department of Energy is funding two Russian institutes with about $4 million, and those institutes help Iran with their nuclear program in Boucher. Evidence is found in Russian documents obtained by the General Accountability Office. Page after page shows various projects, and one page reads, Integration of Plant Shared Equipment at Boucher Nuclear Power Plant is in progress. An Energy Department official at the House Energy Committee hearing today had no answers. I have not had time to fully investigate, but I have directed the principal deputy uh, uh, of the NNSA, Bill Ostendorf, to look into those questions and to report back to me. He also added Boucher is a commercial nuclear power plant, not military. How, Mr. Secretary, do you then rhyme that statement with what the State Department said when they said this, Iran uses Boucher as a cover and a protection for obtaining sensitive technology to advance its nuclear weapons program. With respect to the Bushir reactor, my understanding is that uh, this is something we, that, the, that the president has spoken to President Putin about, that uh, the, uh, the proliferation issues have been discussed, and that uh, that reactor remains under IAEA safeguards. Nuclear non-proliferation experts say Russian help with Boucher can be used in other projects. What the uh, Russians are actually helping to do is to bring a large reactor online which can make scores of bombs worth of plutonium per year and, and we're hoping that the Iranians won't divert any of this material. The rationale for the Department of Energy program was to pay the salaries of Russian scientists who were left without incomes after the Cold War. The thinking was to keep them on the payroll so they wouldn't peddle their nuclear expertise to rogue nations like Iran. Now, the House Energy Committee can't believe it. Writing on the website, only this administration would complain about proliferation in Iran as part of the President Bush's axis of evil and then finance it with American taxpayer dollars. Lou? This administration, everyone keeps talking about the legacy of this administration. Well, their, their legacy is mind-boggling, unbelievable, breathtaking incompetence and stupidity. That is going to be the legacy of the Bush administration. Uh, I mean, thank God that Congressman Dingell and Stu Pack are, are leading the way on this issue. I mean, my, how in the heck can a secretary of the Department of Energy, Sam, Samuel Bodman, even get up in the morning and think he has done anything but waste some of God's protoplasm if he can't run that department? better than he is. Well, you know, just the answers today were, were astonishing. I don't know. We'll check. Unbelievable. The arrogant indifference and utter incompetence of this administration at every level. It is pervasive. It is shameful. And the fact that the, the American people have had to put up with this and continue to do so, 
Uh, it, it's just incredible. That is just an unbelievable story. Yeah, it is unbelievable. There will be more new developments, I'm sure, on this. Uh, any thought to perhaps changing the direction of policy well, no, at the Energy Department? They were defending are, the policy. They say oh. that Russian institutes that participate in Boucher are not disqualified from these funds. They were actually defending this policy today. When I suggested there was a change in policy, I, I didn't for a moment go into some sort of Pollyanna lapse and assume that the, anyone in the Bush administration would be intelligent or sensitive enough to think about a change. But Congressman Dingell, Congressman Stupak showing some considerable presence and, uh, uh, and frankly some forward-looking uh, uh, consideration. Are they demanding they change? Yes, they are. Kitty Pilgrim, again. Terrific reporting. Really a lousy story for those who care about this country. Thank you. Well, time now for some of your thoughts. We're still hearing from.